Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe. Haven't hit like or subscribe? Please do so. Brand new YouTuber, so really appreciate your support. And the best way you can do that is by hitting like or subscribe. And hey, gonna have prizes coming down the line for subscribers just to say thank you. So you're gonna get in on that as well. So in one of my previous vlogs, I talked about my desire for the Blue Jays to address their outfield this offseason. It became more and more apparent that this was something that was going to become a problem next season for the Jays, with T. Oscar and Lourdes both having uh, expiring contracts last year of them before they become free agents. And on top of that, it's about time that we move George Springer to a corner. And luckily enough, it looks like the Jays may just be doing that. With the trade for T. Oscar over to Seattle to beef up our bullpen, still have to look at that and we'll do a follow-up vlog, it becomes apparent that there's another domino to fall for the Jays and that they will be addressing their outfield. That is great news. And I guess there's two ways to do it. They have talked about their interest in Brandon Nemo. He's going to cost probably as much as George Springer. Yeah, 150 million bucks almost. So there's a huge price tag and a lot of risk for him. And I can see the Jays doing that, but I'd rather see them pivot, spend that money on the starting rotation, and trade away one of their all-star catchers or one of their promising catchers to get this deal done. And I'm going to say promising catcher because it's going to be Gabriel Moreno in the question here. And the team that I think the Jays have to strike rich for, and I've said this before, is the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hey, we have a relationship at least with the GM. He came from the Toronto organization. And I'm talking about all-star outfielder Brian Reynolds. This guy is in his 20s. He's got years of arbitration left. He's a switch hitter, and looking at his numbers from last year, did really good. He still hit 262, and he was actually down a little bit. Over 20 home runs, 27. This guy can get it done. He plays the outfield. He's got plus defense. He's everything that you need, especially being a switch hitter for the Jays. It gives them that righty-lefty balance that they really covet this offseason. And a lot of people have said overpaying, yeah, if we traded away Gabriel Moreno for Brian Reynolds straight up, it's actually the Jays that some people have said will lose there. So maybe we have to throw in an additional piece. Probably wouldn't be all-star closer David Bednar, but maybe somebody else who's solid from their bullpen to beef up the Jays. The big question, though, and the reason why I think the Jays have to overpay is there other teams already deep in talks with the Pirates to try to steal away Brian Reynolds. Padres are already talking to them. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but the other team where I think there could be some traction is the Boston Red Sox. That's right, a rival for the Jays, and that's why I say the Jays just might have to get over-aggressive here, bite the bullet, overpay for Brian Reynolds, and really check off a huge box that the Jays need. And imagine the starting four for the Jays in the lineup. You could go Springer, Reynolds, Vladdy, and Bo. Boom, 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 and then follow up with Kirk. That's a solid five, one of the best all in baseball. Saves us about 10 million bucks with the differential, and we can reinvest that into starting pitching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Brian Reynolds and the Jays are a natural fit? Do you think we should trade away Gabriel Moreno or Kirk for somebody else or try to retain all three catchers? Always appreciate your comments below. More importantly, I hope everybody stays safe. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll ramble on soon. Take care, guys.